which are Gremlins, Mars Attacks, Pay It Forward, Steven Seagal's On Deadly Ground, Steven Seagal's Above the Law. And these two movies right here are Warner Brothers Family Entertainment movies, which are The Goonies and My Dog Skip. Both very good movies. And these, this is Warner Home Video 80s, so this is Under Siege and Under Siege 2. Yeah. Notice how I'm actually going through all these quick because I don't know the prints like I did with the Disney ones. So yeah, that was your Warner Brothers series of movies. On to Buena Vista. Buena Vista Home Entertainment. Both the year 2000. Perfect Game and Power Rangers Ninja Storm Prelude to a Storm. Which consists of the first three episodes of season one. Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Prelude to... Oh, let's look at the back of this quickly. It's... Huh. I don't know. It's Prelude to a Storm. Some... Uh, the one with Tori, whatever name, gets all cloned. And Beauty and the Beast. So, yeah. That's Buena Vista. On to 20th Century Fox, which down here is Fox Video Family Feature Movies, which consists of Dunstan Checks In, The Sandlot, and Rookie of the Year. And this is just Fox Video Selections movies, not Family Features. Independence Day and Short Circuit. Down here are just three regular 20th Century Fox movies. Dr. Doolittle, Home Alone, and Quills. A lot of these movies I haven't seen because, okay, let me just say all these movies you're unfamiliar with, most of them, are actually my parents' movies, so, yeah. Over here is the category of movies in which don't belong to a specific uh, movie studio, which is the Broadway, it's Peter Pan Broadway, it's recorded, Moby Dick from Live Entertainment, The Tale of Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny. Uh, Halloween, the original 1978 one. Benji. I, I have that and, like, the other Benji movies on DVD, by the way. Okay, sorry. Um, Our Game Comedies, which is, like, the original 40s and 50s series of um, The Little Rascals. Dirty Dancing from Artists and Entertain Entertainment. And The Last Emperor from Nelson Home Entertainment. So that's that category. Now we're going to go all the way back here to Hollywood Pictures Home Video. And you know what? The, right here should be Robin Williams' Jack. Just saying. So it's Simon Birch, Tombstone, and right here should be Jack. I don't know where Jack is. It, it's a good movie. It's a movie starring Robin Williams. It's um, it's about... It's about him with this disease that makes him grow like three times faster than, you no, know, four times faster than he should. And he ends up dying at the age of uh, 17 because he ends up being like 50 or something. Y you don't see it, obviously, but he's like really old at the end. So, yeah. That was Hollywood Pictures. Yeah, Hollywood Pictures. Over here is Jim Henson. Muppet Classic Theater, 1996. 1995, actually. The Muppet Christmas Carol is also 1995 or 1996. This is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This, this movie, the Muppet movie, belongs in both categories. Up here, it's Jim Henson. And you can see down below, it says Columbia TriStar Home Video. So this would fit into uh, the Columbia TriStar category. But I put it down here because it's obviously a Jim Henson movie. So this is actually pretty old. I think it's like 1990. It's early 90s. I don't know that. So yeah, there's Jim Henson. Right there. Jim Henson video movies. Over here is probably one of my favorite series of movies. Not because of the movies, but because of the studio. One of my favorite studios. MCA Universal Home Video Movies. Oh yeah, over here. Where is, um... I think I already showed you, uh... Oh, you know what? I'm looking around right now, and oh, over there is just regular Universal movies. This is MCA Universal. I like these movies better. So, we're going to start with, it's Casper, Babe, Flipper, Dragonheart, and Born on the Fourth of July. And up here is just an MCA movie, but it kind of counts. So, yeah. That was MCA Universal Home Video. Over here is Paramount. And you know what? I have... Up here should be Harriet the Spy at the top. 
And you know what? If you'll excuse me, actually, hold on a sec, guys. Um, see, so yeah, I will just go with it's Charlotte's Web. This is a Paramount Family Favorites movie. There's Grease, Wayne's World, Forrest Gump. Uh, when I was little, I put a bunch of stickers on there. It used to spell Forrest, but I took those off. The Untouchables, Lee Trevino's Priceless Golf Tips. That belongs to my dad. So, yeah, that was Paramount. If you'll excuse me for a sec, I'll be right back. Hold on. Sorry, guys, I just went to go get some movies. Um, while I went out, back to my parents' bedroom, I found Harriet the Spy, which is, so yeah, it's all these movies, including Harriet the Spy. And back here, I found The Glimmer Man, okay? And, uh, there are a bunch of other movies that I found over here, but I'm not going to tell you because I actually didn't go through them yet. So, I didn't find Jack, but that, that sucks. Oh, well. So, right here is my only Miramax movie that I know of. I think I'm, I, there's chances are I have more, but... I couldn't find them. So yeah, right now it's just Pulp Fiction. There was Miramax. Back over here is my Touchstone movies. Like I said, I'm also sure I have a, like one or two more. This is comprised of Turner and Hooch, Beaches, Phenomenon, Kundun, and as you can see it, What About Bob? So that was uh, Touchstone. Behind Touchstone are my uh, New Line Cinema movies, which are The Little Vampire and The Lord of the Rings Trilogy. I hate The Little Vampire, by the way. That movie's so awful. I'm telling you that right now. I don't know what it was like in theaters, but I, I'm sure it was a box office disaster because it was just awful. Seriously. There's New Line Home Entertainment right there. Over here are my DreamWorks movies. Uh, I got Shrek which I had to put in its own case because I lost the original. And The Contender and Almost Famous. Yay! Say goodbye to DreamWorks, because... No, oh, sorry guys, hold on a sec. Okay, hold on. Yeah. Say goodbye to DreamWorks, because behind it, last, my last group of movies, but definitely not least, Universal. Yep. Universal Movies right here. This is easily my third biggest group of movies right here. As you can see over there, my first is the Disney Collection, and second is Columbia TriStar right there. Not that, that's MGM. So, in this group, we have How the Grin Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Sold Christmas, Christmas, not the cartoon, but the one with Jim Carrey. Oh, that reminds me, I have the original 60s cartoon. And that should be over here somewhere. No, yeah, right there. So, no, 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 great. Yeah, it should be right there in the MGM section. So, yeah, there's How the Grinch Stole, Cri Stole Christmas, Big Fat Liar, Beethoven, Jurassic Park 3, The Bone Collector, Primary Colors, Field of Dreams, K Pax, A Beautiful Mind, and Fried Green Tomatoes. Yep. Those are all of my Universal movies. And, um... And I actually have more movies over here, guys. There's... A Million Years B.C., Fox Video, Dances with Wolves, MGM, and The X-Files. A lot of... No, those are all DVDs, never mind. So, yeah. As you can see here, this... Is about 95% of all the G... Uh... VHS tapes in my house, so there you had it. That was my entire VHS tape collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to like or rate it, whatever. Comment and subscribe. Give it, give this video as many likes as you can, guys, because I really went through a lot of crap to go and find all this shit. I had to go into the garage, pull out a bunch of uh, VHS tapes and stuff. I went in my parents' bedroom, dug under the cabinet. Oh, actually, all these, most of these VHS tapes were either right here or over here on the counter. In here. There's the Star Wars stuff. I didn't put those in there because it wasn't really necessary. Yeah, there was, that was my entire VHS tape collection. Later, guys. Subscribe, rate, and comment.